Hello and welcome to the second edition of Citrus Business Network. Um, Citrus Business Network is comprised of local businesses that get together in a referral program uh, with high moral values and ethical business practice to provide highest quality of professional service, integrity, and customer service. Today we're with Jackie Watkins, owner and operator of John C. Myers Locksmith. Jackie, why'd you choose this business? Well, primarily it's a family business. Pop, my stepdad, he owned the business here in the county for over 15 years, and he was ready to retire at the age of 80, which was six years ago. And I took, said, I can do that. And because I like to work with the public, and I'm very mechanically inclined, like to work with my hands. So I took the certification through Foley Belsaw Institute and purchased the business from Pop. And I've been on my own. He worked with me for six months, and then I was on my own. And what type of services do you provide? Well, mostly everybody re thinks of first is um, lockouts. When you're locked out of your automobile or your home, you call a locksmith. I also provide um, rekeying services for existing locks for homes and businesses. If you should lose your key or someone will not return your key or you terminate an employee. Also, if you buy a new home, it is the best thing you should do for yourself is to rekey your home because you don't know who has the key. Well, I know that we have personally used you, my family, for home, and one of the things that we uh, asked you to do for us was this great lock for the sliding glass door. Right. I don't have to worry about calling Alexi for getting to keep it locked, you know, not locking it back up or opening it up. Um, what do your customers like best about your business? I think they like the best is that I'm, I pay attention to detail and I listen to what they would like to have and I will make a recommendation but the final choice is theirs as to what they want to have done. If I call the locksmith because I've talked to you personally but if I call your business who do I talk to? Or do you, you, you will talk to me. Um, I'm the only person that does the work and if my husband should happen to answer the phone he'll say let me put the locksmith on. So <laughs> What's a typical day? There isn't any typical day. Every day is different. I could start at 6 o'clock in the morning and work till 4, 5, or 10 o'clock at night, depending on the needs of the individuals. Okay. What do you do for the community, is, is, if anything? Well, there's a lot that I do. Um, my primary I know you do group. the Boys and Girls Clubs. Yes. And I was there this week at one of their, their offices and working on their lock. And Instead of making a cash donation to them, what I do is I will write their bill up as a normal bill and then I take the chunk off as my donation to them and it works great for them and great for me. I make a donation and they, they don't have to use their cash funds to, to pay me. Okay. So um, I also am a very active member of the Inverness Lions Club, which is where I spend most of my time and efforts right now. And we do a lot of diabetes screening for the community. Right now we're raising funds to purchase a spot machine, which is a, a portable machine that we can take to different functions, even the schools, and screen children's eyes from the age of six months and up. And it can determine if there's a problem that needs to be taken care of, and we can refer them after that. We also um, provide eye exams, eyeglasses, and surgery. We help pay for those. No. Being a woman, not that women can't do anything on that, but you do a lot of heavy, there's some drilling at my house, you were drilling and everything else on that. What inspired you to, I mean, I know that your dad, you took the business from your dad, but what inspired you to actually, because it's not your husband helping you, this is you out there doing it. Yeah, it's just me. I, I really enjoy it. I, it's, it's not hard to do. I, I think having the right tools, you can do almost anything. And just being sure that you're aware of what your customer's needs are. And you're not sending a helper out or anything. It's no, you it's actually, just, can, me. just you just doing me. it by yourself. And, and you stay busy. Can, I, I do. And there's some days that are slow and other days that I'm so busy, I don't know where I'm going for the next. next. I, I honestly don't but, know where you find the time. I see you in the community all over the place. I'm I mean, all over. every chamber, we're a member of the chamber of the Citrus Business Network is, and I see you at all the chamber events, the so Northern no. Lights. <laughs> but you are just. I, I try to be everywhere that I can. Um, it's. It's a business where it's an as-needed service. So if I'm in the middle of something and uh, of working on a home and I have all their locks off and someone calls and says that I'm locked out, 
can you come and help me? And I will say, well, it's, I'm going to be so much here for so much longer. Can you wait? Or if they can't wait, then I will refer them to somebody that, that can take care of them. Where, where do you see your business in five years? I see myself still here. I, I hope to be a little bit bigger, a little bit busier, and because I have a lot of um, loyal customers that send me continual service. And, and I think that's one reason why you're such an easy referral for any networking group, um, because it is you are the one going out and doing it. Right. And most of your advertising is actually just word of mouth. Correct. And you're busy all the time. Right. I mean, I've tried to call you a couple of times on there, and either you call back or something. But uh, well, I'm not that hard to get hold of. If you call no, my cell phone number, you've I'll, always I'm call available. me right back. Absolutely. And, but it's 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 a matter of trying to schedule schedule for this place or that place. I cover all of Citrus County and Donellan. I also go to Cala occasionally, and I've gone to Brooksville as well. I do Yankee Town, uh, pretty much a, quite a large area. So if I'm here this morning, I might be at the other end, Sugar Mill Woods at the end of the day. So, so it's, Citrus it's, County and surrounding areas is not yes. a problem, whatever the lock no, is. And no. Is there any job too small? No, no. Perfect. No job is too small. I, if, even if it's just the fact that your lock isn't locking correctly, I like to make sure when I leave a house that your locks should be a two-finger, one-hand operation. You shouldn't have to be push, pulling, shoving to get your door open. And a lot of my customers say, oh, it's so easy now. It should be that way. If, there's, if, you, if your locks are hard to operate, there's, there's stress being put on the lock, and it could break. So you should have it attended to. So it's the right person with the right tool for the right job, and no job is too small. Correct. Perfect. I like to pay attention to the details. Perfect. I special order locks. I install lever locks for handicapped, accessible. You know, some people can't grip a knob, so a lever handle makes it easy for them to get in and out of their doors easier. And, and you've had, uh, just real quick, I know that you had one customer that was 100 years old. I'm very oh, yes. curious about that. She was, I went out there, um, she was having some uh, issues with um, her, her caregiver, and they were changing her caregiver. And I went out there and I rekeyed her home for her, and Father Eric was there, and I had given her a free lock because it was her 100th birthday. And he said, you didn't have to do that. I said, yeah, she's 100 years old. She deserved it. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, awesome. we're here with Jackie Watkins with Jackie Myers Locksmith. Um, this has been the second edition of Cit Citrus Business Network, and we'll be back in a few minutes with Dave from Ink for Less. Thanks for joining us. See you in a few minutes. Don't go away.